Sean from Chicory's Travels and today I wanted to talk a little bit about water filtration. Um, we've been doing this like three years and we still consider ourselves rookies when it comes to water filtration. Um, in the beginning we used to use the one canister filters um, but our lines were still getting clogged so we did a little research and found that those are mostly just carbon filters. All the chlorine filters do is remove the uh, chlorine based products that are within the water and improve the taste and smell. So they're not really getting out the particles that are clogging up our lines and causing us to have low water flow within certain areas of the RV. So what, it, what we did was we, we developed our own water filtration system and I wanted to show that to you now. We developed this three canister system there's a, one, a five micron filter, a one micron filter, and then our carbon filter. Um, we also built this PVC stand, which um, 20 to 30 bucks, and you can take it apart uh, when you're getting ready to move because we did not have enough storage in our water compartment for these three canisters. Um, so we can take all this apart and just set it in our underneath storage. So, uh, with this filter, it's a 5 micron filter, and what this means is that it should remove the particles that are 5 microns or larger. And uh, just to know what a micron is, a micron is a millionth of a meter, so that's fairly small. These filters can be nominal or absolute. Um, we chose the nominal, um, which means they'll remove anywhere from 60 to 98% of the particles, um, in this case 5 micron or larger. Um, an absolute filter would remove 99% of the particles that are that size or larger. Um, the next canister is a 1 micron filter, and this will remove um, all the particles that this this 5 micron didn't remove, and those that are larger than 1 micron. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, bacteria, from what I read, averages in length of about 1 micron, and so this will help with the removal of any bacteria that may be in your water. Um, and in certain areas of the country, there's more bacteria than others. Um, we're in Florida right now, and actually down at the beach uh, right by us, they have a high bacteria count signs, so we wanted to be sure to get that bacteria out of there, um, if there was any in the drinking water. The last one is the uh, carbon filter, and this one will remove, like I said, the chlorine-based compounds um, and some volatile organic compounds that are chlorine-based and will improve the taste and smell of the water inside your RV. So hopefully we'll let this run for a little while and we will certainly see a reduction in the amount of particles that we're uh, getting in our water lines and having to unclog it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click subscribe and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll have more maintenance videos. Um, the next one I'm gonna, that I plan on doing is the uh, water heater now that I have a good filtration system in place I'm gonna flush the water heater and um, I'm sure it will be pretty nasty based on um, the lack of water filtration over the last couple of years so if you want to learn maintenance with me um, I'm learning and I'll film as I go um, just like I said click subscribe and we hope to see you on YouTube